I release and I let go. I let the spirit run my life and my heart is open wide. Yes, I'm only here for God. No more struggle, no more strife. With the faith, I see the light. I am free in the spirit. Yes, I'm only here for God. Good morning and welcome to Unity of Merced's Sunday Inspirational Message. I'm Reverend Twyla Reese and I'm here with Ed Bennis doing music for us this morning. It's so good to see each and every one of you. So I want us to begin this morning reading Unity's Daily Word magazine. And today's reading is adjusting here a little bit. Today's reading is Let Go and Let God. I let go and trust the divine in me. When faced with a decision to make, do my thoughts turn immediately to divine guidance or do I seek God's help only when all else fail? Unity co-founder Charles Fillmore wrote that God loves to be used and the more you use God, the more easily you use God and the more pleasant God's help becomes. God lives in us and expresses through us. All of the attributes of God are as near as my next thought. I release my attachment to limited human reasoning. I center my mind and heart on the constant flow of divine love, wisdom, understanding, and strength. In the divine flow, I find answers to questions. New possibilities for good emerge, and I move forward with confidence. And the scripture is Deuteronomy 4.29. From there you will seek the Lord your God, and you will find him if you search after him with all of your heart and soul. Let go and let God. And in that, in that truth of being able to release and let go and surrender, we know right now in this moment that we are being held in that gentle love, in that gentle love of God mind, in that gentle love of the universe that surrounds and wraps itself around us, and that we breathe within each and every moment. In this moment, we release and we let go. Ed. In this and every moment, I am safe and all is well. In this and every moment, I am safe and all is well. In this and every moment, I am safe and all is well in this and every moment i am safe and all is well i am held i am whole i surrender to it all when i trust and let go then I know that all is well. In this and every moment, I'm safe and all is well. In this 
and every moment I am safe in all is well. Thank you, Ed. Karen Druckers, in this and every moment, I am safe and all is well. And at the beginning of our service, Ed sang from Ricky Byers, I release and I let go. And I want to share with you once again, the lyrics to that song, just, just the, the chorus. I release and I let go. I let the spirit run my life. And my heart is open wide. Yes, I'm only here for God. No more struggle, no more strife. With my faith, I see the light. I am free in the spirit. Yes, I'm only here for God. I am free in the spirit. Yes, I am only here for God. I am only here for good. I am only here for love, for life, for happiness, contentment, joy, put whatever word that you want to put with that. I release and I let go. The thought had been going around my mind over the last couple of weeks of what is it that we can actually control? We're in unprecedented times, and things are a little squirrely at times. And I don't know about you, but there are moments that I have felt pretty out of control. There have been moments that I have had to pay deeper attention to the observation of life around me, where I've had to come back into the center of my knowing, into being mindful of each and every moment. What is it that we really have control over? There are aspects of our, our life that, that we can control. We can decide when we're going to eat, when we're going to go to bed, when we're going to wake up, things like that. But do you know that right now in these times, there are many people in our world that may not have even control over some of those aspects of their life. My prayer for anyone and everyone in that position that they can go within and find that deeper reservoir of spirit within them and know that in this and every moment they are well. And that the more that we can release, the more we can let go, the more that we can come back into present moment awareness of knowing that God is right here, right now, that good is right here, right now. Now, there's another aspect of this that sometimes we feel like we're out of control because we have needs, desires in our lives that are not being taken care of and we don't feel like we're being heard. Have you ever felt like that? That you talk and talk and talk, but you're not being heard and that life around you just keeps moving, but you're not being heard. Well, first of all, in order to be heard, we must hear ourselves. We must come into a deeper relationship with, with who we are and what our intention is and ask ourselves, if I feel like I'm not being heard out in the world, then where am I first not listening to myself? And then as we get more clear about that, then we can start reframing our requests. We can start reframing our state of mind, our tone of voice, our thinking, and our doing. I believe it was Teddy Roosevelt who said, um, speak softly and carry a big stick, right? 
speak softly and carry a big stick. Well, what is that big stick for you? I think the big stick can be the clarity of our intention. Now you can take that interpretation and take it into the time of life when he said that and be very literal about that, which is, you know, it was very timely and it was very good. But how does that apply to you right now in this day, in this time, with whatever may be going on around you? What is that big stick? Get clear on what it is, first, that you're feeling. What is it that you're truly feeling? What is causing you to feel out of control? And then get really clear in your intention. Get really clear in coming from your authenticity. And always find a way to take a breath and come from a place of love. I want to share with you a story. Uh, David Alt, who is a Centers for Spiritual Living minister in Atlanta, he did the uh, writings for this month's Science of Mind magazine. And he shared earlier this week's reading was a story that he called the Tuxedoed Jesus. So I want to share a little bit of that story with you. There was a woman who was invited to go to a formal, high-level political fundraiser. She had been very outspoken about her thoughts and feelings about certain politicians. I have no idea what the backstory of this is, when it was, or who it was, or anything about it. But she had been very vocal. and very strong in her opinions and her feelings. And she felt that she had been invited to this fundraiser because of the opinions that she had. She went to this fundraiser. As I said, it was very formal. And as she mingled around the room, her eyes met the eyes of this man. He was sitting on the arm of the sofa, not speaking to anyone just very quietly sitting there with this beautiful smile on his face. In her words, he was beaming. A gorgeous, beautiful man, the most beautiful man she had ever seen. She would walk around the room, she would circle around, come back, and whenever she looked at him, he was always looking directly at her. Finally, she walked over to him. And when she walked over to him, he addressed her by name, this man whom she had never met. He addressed her by name and he said, and let me read those words. Those who you condemn and label as warmongers are no different than you. When you speak against them without first seeking to understand and love them, you too become a warmonger. Let me read that one more time. Those you condemn and label as warmongers are no different than you. When you speak against them without first seeking to understand and love them, you too become a warmonger. She immediately went into a state of overwhelm and she quickly walked away, found the closest restroom she could find, fell down on the floor in sobs. And she sobbed and she cried and she felt the truth of those words within her, the importance of loving whomever and whatever is in front of you, loving whatever it is that is going on, doesn't mean you have to like it. 
but to find that place of divine love within you, that's the transformation point. When we can step back and breathe into a situation, when we can find that divine love and that clarity, that's what is causing your lack of control is not being able to have the clarity of that divine love within you. When we start looking more at what is going wrong, in our opinion, than what is going right. Of looking at those people who seem not to be coming from love. Now, I can only interpret what she felt in those moments through my own words, but I'll tell you this, the rest of the story was she pulled herself together, she went back into the gathering, and the man was gone. He was nowhere to be seen. And as she asked other people who he was, no one knew anything about what she was talking about. Even the people that were sitting on the same sofa where he had been, they had no idea what she was talking about. She came to call this man the tuxedoed Jesus. And she felt that, that he had come in a way to bring her a greater understanding, to find a different place of love, intention, clarity. And from that place, from that place, to be able to go back into her life and do whatever it was that she was called to do. That doesn't mean that she needed to step away from her, her passion and her, her calling, but to come from a place where she was doing it differently. Does that make sense? When we are feeling out of control, to find a way to come back into sync with the divine love that is always around us. I have always loved the 12 step prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So I invite you, wherever you are in your life, in this time, in any other time, we often say that time is an illusion, that our physical world is an illusion. And that's another subject for another time. But right now, in this moment, on this day, find a place where you can find that divine love to step away from anything that you may be feeling is out of your control. Heaven forbid that we, we should be free. Heaven forbid that we should be free, that we should relax. Oh my goodness, just imagine what it would be like if you gave yourself a break from trying to have to take care of everything yourself every moment of the day. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Find that divine love within you. Find that divine acceptance that surrender, that release, let go. And from that place, then you are free to do the work that you have been called to do. And so it is. Ed. Okay, this is a rather obscure song by Daniel Namod that I think suits 
our time. There was a day, I remember it well, when I could always tell what was right for me. Such a day, not so long ago, when I would always know I was safe as can be. I'm going back to that very first day. There was a day, before my faith hit the ground, before the shame came around, before the walls came down, such a day. I might have been just a child, but I knew how to smile more than once in a while. I'm going back to that very first day. I'm going back to that very first day. On that day, I was at peace. I did everything with the greatest of ease on that day. I knew joy, all the world was a bright blue baby store. I'm going back to that very first day. There was a day before the anger ruled, before the guns in school, before the wars for fuel. Such a day when children played in the streets, we all had plenty to eat and every soul was free. We're going back to that very first day. We're going back to that very first day. On that day, we were at peace. We did everything with the greatest of ease. On that day, we knew joy. All the world was a bright blue baby storm. We're going back to that very first day. Doesn't need to be so hard to live this life. We haven't strayed so far, our souls just wait for us to decide. So today we will know peace. We'll do everything with the greatest of and today there will be joy all the world will be a bright blue baby's toy and today let there be love all we've ever been will be more than enough and today we will have joy because the world is just a bright blue baby's toy we're going back to that very first day Yes, we are back to that very first day. We are back to that very first day. Make every day our very first day. Ed, that is an awesome song. Thank you for sharing that with us. And Daniel, thank you for writing that song. That just, just, what can I say? <laughs> oh, do you want to say anything about that, Ed, why you chose that? Well, my mind has lately been on this virus situation and, uh, you know, staying at home. And um, so uh, I, I tried looking. It took me quite a while going through all different kinds of music. I even almost wrote one. and. Um, I knew Daniel had so many songs that he's written and I found this one um, and I thought, yeah, this one, this one works for me because it, um, the, the, the bridge uh, was, we haven't strayed so far. Our souls just wait for us to decide. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we need to do in this time. We, we, we have to decide to, um, be loving and to uh, to see our neighbors and our friends uh, again the way we used to when we were young and we were children. It's seeing the world with the eyes of a child, and um, we'll get through this. I I, I know and I'm uh, I know we will, but it starts with having the right attitude and and uh, I think we're going to make some good changes in the world as a result of this. I know it's it's a 
tragedy, but at the same time, it's kind of forced us to look uh, to what is really important in our life. And I think uh, uh, most of us, if not all of us, will find that. Oh, well said, Ed. Well said, thank you. And so everyone, we go out knowing that the light of God surrounds us, the love of God enfolds us, the power of God protects us, and the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is, and all is love. Have a blessed day. Breathe. Let go. Let spirit have its way. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>